Boom, your butt's here, you're rounded. Move you here, and now you can move back, okay? But if you start like this, and I move you away, and I say go back, you can't go back anymore, you follow me? You can't get lower, okay? And we're trying to get you from this position. Can I have that, please? Look at how far away I am here. There is no perfect remedy. Some people have bigger asses than others, okay? You can feel that out, but I want the back line somewhere around 150. Some people have shorter arms, so I make them get a little wider or longer clubs, okay, because they're taller, okay? So wider is getting me shorter, narrower is getting me here, which means if I'm narrow, I'm gonna have to go like this. So the whole thing is we want to get you to a position where you're about two, three away here. And all I'm trying to do is get right here, move here, round, armpits over the balls of your feet. Move all that away, you'll be able to move back in there. You follow me? So I'm starting posterior, right? He's okay. paying you to play today. Absolutely. So are, are you Are you? Are you uh... it's, people go, you're sucking your butt under you. All I'm doing is standing straight up and down. That's the butt. The butt is under my heels, okay? Yeah. I'm standing right here, okay? Yeah. So if I went here my, and my, my, my wife calls me fucking, what does she call me? Wall butt, wall butt or whatever. <laughs> so there's no difference in my direction. You got some bubble butt, you're going to be out further than me, okay? Sure. I'm like I'm like Hogan as far as my butt is is right under me. It's pretty flat, so I don't have to worry about this. But I don't have any of this lumbar lordosis. I have no arch in my lower back. I'm not getting into anterior pelvic tilt. I'm sitting just straight up. It's comfortable. Well, then I round, okay? The problem is, is everybody said you sit on a bar stool like this and, and Hogan was right so when I did that were my armpits in my lap but you got to be drunk at a bar stool you know what I'm saying your armpits have to be a over little the, more over, over the ball. to get to the ball otherwise you're going to be like can't get the ball or your armpits they're back then you get your armpits over the ball of your feet and you're back like this so that's where the confusion's at you follow me yeah so I was going to ask you if you're if you're asking your butt to go back but it's just going to go back when you drop if the instructions are to hit the wall absolutely. so get in your setup mark yes absolutely so let's get you two two three inches of weights <laughs> roughly around there yeah that's cool now round your back boom right there that's perfect now round a little bit more bend your knees a hair good excellent now Let's grab this. If you can't grab it, well, that's actually really good right there. It, feels, it almost feels like your Freddie Couples, Jack Nicklaus. That, that looks really, really good. It feels crazy, right? Yeah. Now, move your whole geometry with your feet. Move everything away. Same exact way. Now, take it back to first parallel. Turn a little in the back. Good. Now, come in and back. Come in and back. There. Now, you can move here. Now, you can move back. Now, that'll be shorter. You see how you did that? So, we're going to go from here. feel that bit. Absolutely. It feels like a normal swing. Okay. So, we're going to do it again. Uh, get next to it again. Good. So, start right there. Round, good. Move your whole thing away. Take it to first parallel. Now come back and nip back. There you go, good. Now see what you did here? This left leg can start to extend back, okay? What's creating, there you go, what's creating rotation is the ground, okay? So people don't understand that when, when people drop baskets, they go like this. So this is where this is where my new membership is going to change everything as far as people's understanding. People go, oh, I, I do Georgia stuff. Uh, did I turn? No. No, what's creating turn is a torque with the ground, which is creating a torque with the ground. That's what's creating rotation, okay? This is just my femur bone going, I like turtles, okay? So that's just my femur. Now watch, when I actually use the ground properly, I've gone where? External. Now how do I go internal? Okay, I'm going to push. See that right there? Now watch, when I push again. Dropping my left leg. It extended. Did it push this way a little bit, or did it push up? Up. You can push a driver, I'm pushing like a baseball player. What's a baseball player doing? They're pushing this way. See the difference? Those are completely different. Well, those are, that's what's going to change right there. Rotation is what? Gripping this way. Now, how do I get back? This way? No, it's a push with extension. It's clearing the top. Okay? It's not just, hey, just rotate. That's not how we rotate. We're using the ground to push. And watch when I absorb with flexion to lead me. I look like this. If I actually play baseball, what is it? It pushes this way. Okay. Mm -hmm. But in golf, we don't do that because we hit back here. So we absorb extension as I push. Absorb means absorbing extension. With golf, with, with driver, I'm pushing this way and this way after I've gotten the ground. That's what I'm doing. That's what gets my head back with extension. Got it? So there's. There's a different pattern. Everything's the same with the driver to iron. The difference is, is with the wedge, I'm gonna tilt here. Driver, I'm gonna have about 10 degrees of tilt. My tilt's coming from right little bend, it's not coming from the pelvis. 
I get the full turn with the driver, I get back into the ground, and then I start to push opposite directions with extension. With an iron, I'm staying more centered here. You still got tilt? I still have a certain amount of tilt depending on the club, because it's optimal for the height. Assuming my hands don't look like yours do at the moment. Got it? That would be a better matchup would be up here. They won't have doing that. Absolutely, hell no, they won't. So we get back around, then we start to push. I absorb extension as I push. That's gonna clear out that left side. So you could push here, and it'd get you even more rotation, okay? But I try and absorb it, okay? So that's just how we rotate. We're using the ground. So set up. <coughs> so to ash, that why I go on that tangent, I'll show you why, good. So, you really, first parallel. Gonna come to the ground, boom. Yes, absolutely, nice. do that again. Start down, keep turning. Yeah, that's a stretch, okay. That's what we're looking for. What you're trying to do is you're trying to use your arms. I don't use my hands and arms. Start again. Oh, absolutely. Rotate, work. Yep. I don't put pressure on my hands. Yeah, absolutely. That's going. But look at the face. The face is ready to go. Now, here's what I tell players. I said, listen. Is this, is this right here? That's fine. That leg will go internal after we've got into the ground. As soon as I get into the ground, my legs can start to push and extend. After there, once the deceleration happens and I'm in the ground, I'm going to start to use the ground. Yep. Do I have to use the ground and go back up? No. Absolutely not. Dustin doesn't. Yeah. He just stays there. Why? Because his face is shut, and if he extended, the face would be more closed. Yeah. He'd come up, he'd let it go. Yep. Bye bye. Yep, yep. So Agreed. his matchup is to stay into a position where he's more in deflection. Deflection meaning he's being bent. Okay, and that's what he does. He doesn't extend up. And if he did want to flex, let's say he was flexing. So if he did stand up, he hit the ball further. No, he, he would actually hook the ball more. It would be well with a different grip. Why do why do I stand up? Yes, with a different grip. Now, why do I stand up? Is for optimal numbers. Yeah. Simple as that. I want to hit more up on a driver like Rory. I want to be more like Rory. I want to get him in the ground whoosh, and then extend. Mm -hmm. Now, if I got in here and just turned, I could have equal speed. The only difference in the thing that people are going to say is not as much distance because when you start to extend up, you could be adding what? Loft. Loft. But we're talking pure speed, nothing to do with numbers, nothing. If I stay down, there's another argument, parametric acceleration, where you're standing up. You can get the club, you can have more acceleration than you could if you stay in flexion. Yeah. Well, here's the deal, which one's faster? Which? Depends on what you do. If yeah. you're extending up, a lot of people believe that getting into the ground and extending up right. is That's more. The jump throw Absolutely. move and all that. I don't right. know but are we, is it more distance? Well, it might be, right. well, we got debates everywhere about right. is yeah. it optimal? Are you yeah. hitting on the way up with less loft? I mean. And how much did you go down before you went up? You have to go up. Are you just way down here like this and staying down? I mean, there's so many d right. debates we could go through yeah. about what I is optimal. I think everything being equal, there's more speed standing up because the shoulder's coming back. Absolutely, and, and that gives lever, you, absolutely. So, so you're going to extend, but if you extended it and you never went down and you extended, well, yeah. what are you doing now? Well, you're adding shit tons of loft and you never got your verticals right. in. Yeah. You never created your torques first, okay? Yeah. So if you just extend yeah. up, then there's a debate that you already yeah. went up, okay? Agreed. So you never got the ground force, okay? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we could go on, I could go on for arguments for hours. So jump back in there again, one more time. Put your butt up against her. Yeah, that's cool, right there. Good, that looks great. Now, take it to the first parallel again. Good. Now slowly come down. Let's get this around. Boom. There you go. Good. Excellent. See how different that is? So Good. this is going back. Yeah, it's going back and it's going back into extension. It's not the pressure is going on the left heel. There. Absolutely.